What's going on guys? Noah Brewer here and today I want to talk about um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and how I tried to capitalize off of this craze that shoppers go through during this holiday season. So basically if you don't know I started Shopify around last year around this time um, around August is when I started learning about Facebook ads and, and drop shipping and all that and um, so that was about a year and a few months ago. So I wasn't I wasn't growing six figure stores and doing all the stuff that I'm doing now back then. So my first time going through Black Friday, I actually didn't do anything. And uh, I was managing one store and we were doing about 200 to 300 every day. And I didn't do any special retargeting, any special campaigns or anything on Black Friday or Cyber Week. Um, I just kind of left everything the way it was just to see what would happen. and. Uh, during Black Friday, we actually hit $700 in sales. So it was a spike from like 200 to, 200 to $300. And just out of nowhere, we did 700 bucks. So I think if we did something differently, we would have made a little bit of more money on that day. But this was my first Black Friday this year I'm talking about. This was my first Black Friday in Cyber Week that I actually had a good base of stores to work on and test with. So exactly what I did, well, I didn't want to go crazy, right? I didn't want to add a bunch of ad sets and just do a bunch of crazy stuff on these stores. And I also wanted to start a little bit before Friday so that I could have a good idea of what's working before Friday came. So actually throughout the week before Black Friday, the week of Black Friday, I was testing out different ad copies. So I was testing out Cyber Week, Holiday Sale, uh, or, or Cyber Week sale, Holiday sale, uh, Black Friday sale, all these different ad copies with retargeting. So I launched those campaigns on Thursday. So they went through a full 24 hours before the actual day of Black Friday. And I have mul I, I'm managing multiple stores and I have students and stuff. So I told some of them to do Black Friday and a Black Friday sale. And I told some of them to do a Cyber Week sale. And uh, that was my first taste of how to prepare for this and how to kind of do something differently and do a special sale or something like that. And um, what I noticed was on Black Friday, the stores that I used Cyber Monday sale or Cyber Week sale actually made a lot more sales than the stores where I said Black Friday sale, um, which I thought was a little weird, but it was the reason why I tested both of them because I knew that there was a possibility that one would work better than the other. Um, so come Friday, I told all the stores that did the Black Friday sale to switch over to the Cyber Week sale. And uh, most stores did really, really good. Um, a few stores, though, did worse than normal, which is very weird. But it could have had something to do with launching a campaign out of nowhere with a different ad copy. I don't know if that affected the way it was optimizing for a day or something. But uh, yeah, some stores did really, really good and some did really bad. And uh, if I count up the amount of revenue generated through Friday, it's somewhere around 60 to 70 K, uh, which is really good because most of the stores that I manage, it generates around 30 to 40 K, uh, every day, which is not, uh, it's not anything crazy. Like we didn't jump from like 10 K a day up to 70 K. It was just a little bit extra. And, um, I feel like that extra little bump is going to help profit to these stores a lot. But at the same time, we also got to say that we can take advantage of this Black Friday Cyber Week sale. And Cyber Week is actually not over yet. Um, so we're still kind of running these ads. And honestly, I plan on running them as long as they're profitable. Um, a lot of people run a Black Friday sale or a Cyber Week sale. And if, you know, once the Cyber Week is over, they shut it off. Um, I'm not really thinking of it like that. And, uh, you know, I plan on running them until they stop making money. Um, I don't want to turn it off. I'll run a Cyber Week sale in June if I have to, if it's still making money, because it only makes sense to do that. Um, I'm not going to turn something off that's making money. So I think we we got some really good campaigns out of it, some really profitable uh, return on ad spend campaigns, you know, 4 ROAS, 5 ROAS. Um, one of them was like 10 or 15 ROAS, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I think it went pretty smoothly. And if I could do something... Uh, a little bit different like if I could go back a few days and do something a little bit different I definitely would have prepared myself better and I would have started testing a little bit early but uh, as I said this was the first Black Friday cyber week that I was actually able to implement different stuff on different stores 
And because, um, you know, last year I didn't have that many stores going. I was just kind of starting out. So, um, but yeah, I think I learned a lot. And I think next year I'm pretty prepared to crush it. Um, I'll have this video to document exactly what I did. So that, that'll be good. But yeah, if I were to do anything different, it would simply just be starting earlier um, so I could figure out what works before Friday. I think starting on Thursday was a little bit too late because by the time I realized uh, what was working and what wasn't working, Friday had already come or Friday was already halfway done. Um, and also another thing that I realized as well, which I kind of knew, is that a lot of people actually go Black Friday shopping on Thursday night. Um, it's not even all throughout Friday, you know, most people um, go shopping like right after Thanksgiving dinner, you know, they go have Thanksgiving dinner with their family and then they go out shopping all night and they stay out until 2 or 3 a.m. So that's one thing that I kind of knew but I never saw it in action before and I saw it in action this year. So I'm definitely going to be starting ads before Thursday when I'm promoting for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. But as a whole, I do not think that it affected the way that the stores ran. I think the stores that uh, had a, a less than average day on Black Friday would have had a less than average day whether we did a special promotion or not. Um, and I think that the stores that did better with the sale, I think they also would have done better without the sale. I think it's kind of, you don't need to do anything special, but doing something special could bring in a little bit of extra revenue. Um, so that's really good. But um, another thing that we did was you know the banners on the top of a site, like most websites have themes that allow you to have a banner on the top. It's called an announcement if, you're, if you've ever built a store before. Um, and we basically changed those to say like limited time cyber week sale and we'll let those run throughout the next, uh, the next 10 days after Black Friday or so. Um, but those are really the only two things that I did and I think it worked really well. Um, as a whole, I think there was a lot of money being generated. Um, you know, somewhere around $550,000 per minute in the peak of Black Friday, which was insane. Um, if you enjoyed watching the Black Friday live view, that was amazing. Um, and it makes me feel like the, the little bit of 60K that we did over here is, is uh, jack shit and not a lot. But, um, you know, 60K generated throughout stores in a day is, uh, I feel like it's a good Black Friday, right? So, um I'll, I'll give you guys another update because like I said, we're still in cyber week and I still want to calculate how much was pushed through just the stores that I manage, which if you're wondering, there's about five or six of them. It's not that many, um, but yeah, so we have another four or five days or so left, so hopefully it'll be good, but um, if you can take anything out, out of this video and put it in your notebook so you can implement it next year, please do. I just wanted to make this to document exactly what I did and how it might be able to help you in the future. But as for this video, I'm Noah Brewer, and I'm out. Peace.